So, in the shadow of Westminster, St. James's Park stands, surrounded by the key buildings of the Empire and by memories of London's historic past. Birdcage Walk marks the site of an aviary which stood here in the time of the Stuarts. And here, where the children play today, King Charles II used to saunter with Nell Gwynne and the Spaniels. The park was a favorite haunt of Samuel Pepys, who came here often to gossip and to watch the fashionable crowd of his day, the wits and the bows and the mighty fine women in all their splendor. Pepys once followed the king into the park, where he says, though the ice was broken and dangerous, he would go slide upon his skates. <laughs> 